Hi, welcome to Physics Teacher. In this video, I'm going to go over a lab that I do with my grade 11 physics students on the force of friction. We're not going to be changing the different surfaces in contact in this lab, so we're not going to be analyzing the coefficients of static and kinetic frictions for different surfaces, but we are going to be determining the coefficients of kinetic and static frictions based on the graph for this situation. If you need a copy of the handout that I use, it's going to be in the description below. You can print it out and follow along and maybe do your own analysis. All right, so let's come back here and we're going to do the lab together. All right, so we're going to start this lab by first figuring out the mass of one of these blocks that we're going to be pulling. So we're going to put that on our scale and we read 138.6 grams. All right, next thing we're going to do is making sure our line is not taut. We're going to come over here and we're going to zero the sensor so that we're reading a force of zero. Now we're going to go to graph mode. We're going to start by adding one kilogram to the mass and then we are going to pull to see what our force over time looks like. All right, so here we can see we have a maximum value. And we can go over to statistics for the force to see that that maximum value is 2.926 newtons. All right, so let's turn off statistics. And now we're just going to highlight this portion, which is our portion of kinetic friction. We're going to go to statistics again to figure out what the average is. And there's the average, the mean, 2.254 newtons. So we can record that in our table. And now we're going to increase the weight and do it again. So we're adding 500 grams more to our mass. All right, so let's look at what that maximum value for static friction is. It looks like it is max 4.431 newtons. And now we'll select this range for kinetic friction, figure out what the average is. And the average is 3.433 newtons. Now let's add some more mass. So I'm going to remove the 500 grams and add another one kilogram. So that's a total of two kilograms plus the mass of the block. All right, analyze. So we have a maximum value for static friction at 5.352 newtons. And when we analyze the average kinetic friction, we have a force of 4.587 newtons. Let's add more mass. going to add another 500 gram weight or half a kilogram. So let's see that maximum value of static friction. It's at 7.367 newtons.
And let's look at the average kinetic. And the average kinetic is at 5.836 newtons. All right, one last time, we're going to remove that 500 gram and add another kilogram. So we now got three kilograms of mass in addition to the block. All right, so let's check out that maximum value for static friction. And it is 8.675 newtons. And now let's look at the average for the kinetic friction. And we get 7.105 newtons. All right, so that's it for our lab, but what you're going to do in the analysis is you will plot a graph of the maximum static friction versus the normal force. And since this is a horizontal table, the normal force is going to be equal to the force of gravity, which is the mass we used times 9.8 newtons per kilogram. And the slope of that graph will give you the coefficient of static friction. So figure what, out what that is and let me know what the coefficient of static friction for this wooden block and lab table is. And then you're going to do the same thing where you're going to plot average kinetic force versus, again, the normal force. And the slope of that graph will tell you what the coefficient of kinetic friction is. So let me know what you get in the comments and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next lab.